never gets old being out here. Ever. It's always absolutely exciting, vibrating. Oh, love it. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And interstate is over there. You can barely hear it. Cell phone tower right there. Excellent connection. I'm walking in sandals, which I shouldn't do. Because if I step in one of these choyas here, they are the worst of the worst. And in the morning, I want to head up there. Apparently there's a old gold mine shaft. I want to check that out. And maybe even go for a hike or if there's a bike path up there. That'd be nice too. That's the beauty of van life. You never know where you're going to end up. Sometimes you plan, sometimes you don't. But this is the best lifestyle I ever had. Good morning again. Some wind and as I expected, a couple of degrees cooler up here. And there is more proof of the rain from last night. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my morning coffee and then grab the mountain bike and go for a little ride. I also really want to hike up there. But first, let's check out that mine shaft or what is left of it. And see how far we can go. So I think it's a mile up this way. I need two hands. We usually I have the 360 camera mounted up here, but today I want to try just doing the GoPro. So, quick view for you guys, and then I gotta pack the camera away and see you at the mine. There we go. All right, let's check it out. nobody here. <laughs> you just never know. Oh, fireplace. Okay. Well. This is already not the mine shaft. I don't know where it is, but somewhere here, I assume. And whatever this was for. Some minor lift here, maybe? 
the Winter Palace. So, where is the mine? Or is it just a water rinse? Maybe that was it. Well, we have excellent internet here, so I'm going to look it up and see what it's telling me. So, I think I found it. The gold nugget mine is up there, up on that hilltop. So, got to bring the bike up there, walk as close, and then get up to that hill. I see those two metal bars and a picture on Google Maps. So let's go up there, check it out. And there it is. Oh yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> there you go. There it is. I'm sure I'm not the first person to try this. Ready? So. Let's go in a couple of feet, that's for sure. That's so cool. hard to hear but I actually can see my van from here too right down there in the center that's me very nice so you go to interstate 10 if you follow this way you're gonna get back to quartzsite and then eventually to Los Angeles this way east it's going to Phoenix and much further than that last view on the miners cabin I assume it was I'm gonna head this way all right back home very nice how about a hike up there, huh? Pretty reasonable. Well, let's try it out. Let's see, we can see the other side of the valley. Oh man, this place is really a choya garden. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to go down this way to get up there. So let's figure that out. like there's quite some water coming through here at some time of the year. Not as simple as it looks like. <laughs> also want to make sure I watch where I step. Snakes. They probably are hibernating right now, but this is where they mostly hang out. Could totally not see that from the other end, of course. So I could just climb up there, I guess. But I will definitely need two hands for that. So, check back with you guys when I found my way. The hike in Bullet City, huh? Just gorgeous here, man. Unbelievable. And 
soon to be up there and we can see hopefully some of the valley but man I feel at peace here I just I miss this so much this is van life for me and none of that was planned you know like yesterday I was pretty much on the road to head out to Phoenix and then I decided you know what let's stay a couple more days and pull over and I talked to my mother on the phone and I saw those campers actually in the distance I didn't even know this place I didn't look at the map I didn't even know there's BLM camping here or the mine or whatever and how it looks like and then surprisingly it turned out to be this <laughs> I mean that is awesome that that's the lifestyle that's the lifestyle guys growing well here look at you oh it's always the last stretch it always looks easier from down there and it's like in the temperature wise in the middle where if you start it's kind of cold you want to have a jacket and once you're almost through it's too warm but look at the view wow and look at that what we have here look at this what is that very nice and oh yeah you can see some not all but some okay now we're talking wow there's the van up there was the mine shaft isn't that something boy those guys are grown Look at these. Wow. Look at this guy. Damn. Guess that's what they like up the spot here. Lots of wind. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I think to get a better view, I would have to walk all the way up there. And. It looks easier than it is. And not only that, there is a hill behind that hill, so that's not even the one here. It's the one behind to get up and then maybe see the entire valley. So all the way down, cross this one, again all the way down, all the way up. <laughs> not today. But boy, beautiful up here. And very windy. back down preparing some lunch and then I think I'm gonna head into town I really <laughs> would like to have a shower I think I'm three days without it and then after the hikes and the bike ride and everything yeah it would be nice uh, apparently there is one a place in town where you can get one a couple actually but one is not so overpriced like the truck stops love that that all of a sudden you have those color rocks come out of the middle yeah, look at this guy you know I'm doing van life closing in my fifth year so I have done so many of these hikes and just lived in the moment and then I realized one day you know what it would be so amazing to film this document this for myself so and who knows how many years I have left in either able to do this or in general as a nice memory to then later watch and obviously also share on this channel
up here to clean my solar panels because I know from experience this rain the past couple of days brings also a lot of dust. So it's not that bad as I thought, but it's worth cleaning them up because anything on your panels will reduce your efficiency. And actually, if they're really dirty and it's just one of them, the way they're wired is the weakest panel, so to say, with the most dust on it will also reduce the entire efficiency for everything else. So it's always worth having a ladder like this one. Make sure, obviously, you're safe on the ground. Like this gravel is super hard and stable. And then all you need is water and a towel. Done here. Man, solar panels. How how awesome is this? How awesome is to have this? Being here in this place, having those amazing things on the roof of my van. You know, five years into it, actually that's still a dirty spot. So when I grab the camera, I'm gonna clean that off. Five years into this lifestyle, I still, every time I come up here and clean those panels out, I still think it's so freaking amazing to have that ability that technology whoever those guys were who invented these you're the man you're the best being able to live at this amazing spot and have power run my equipment compose music edit videos for you guys yeah so i'm out here i actually had a conversation with jordan brutus on his live stream on instagram that was pretty cool Jordan and I were, I'm actually honored to say that, long-term friends since 1998, I believe. And you know, I showed him the camp spot here. Very cool to be connected with him for such a long time. I played on his record once, and he played on my solo record. And I've seen so many shows of Dream Theater. That's the band he's playing in, keyboard player, by far. Absolutely one of the best musicians that I know. So Jordan Rudis from Dream Theater, tune in and great connection as the cell phone towers were there. And just said hello during his live stream on Instagram. Just enjoy us too. <laughs> that was cool. Parked at the wrong place. Could have pulled in here. Shall is five dollars. You know what? I'm gonna get the van. I wanna park right where it belongs. All right, that was more of a two and a half hour wait, but let's get to it. Finally, the <laughs> shower. All right, I'm here. See you guys after. Come here. It's all right. It's all right. No, oh, yeah. You're getting lost, right? Love to help you. 
can check your number. No. Well, that was solved quickly. It was just the neighbor's cat. And the dogs ran over and went after her and they actually wouldn't try to nip me. But you know, people lose animals all the time and here they're not going to survive very long for so the winter gets cold but also there's plenty of coyotes and especially with small animals like that no way she would have made it but she was just warming around and trying to see what's up here mm -hmm.